everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Kim and today I'm bringing you my review of Hold Back the Dark by Kay Hooper this was if you are interested in knowing this detail it is copyrighted back in 2018 so it's a new a little bit newer book a couple years old so this is following a huge group of people in this book I would say I think I gave it a three-star rating um, to let you guys know where it kind of fell um, in the rating system for me I have read many of Kay Hooper's books and I have enjoyed many many of them I would give them four or five star ratings this one however didn't do very much for me it had a very unique idea behind it but for me the execution of it was not that great um, I think the main people if I remember correctly because it's been a few months since I have read it I believe the two main people that you follow primarily is Hollis Templeton and then Reese I don't remember his last name and they I don't even know how, how to really go about this review with this book uh, without sounding like a negative Nelly about it. Um, the whole premises of it and how it starts off, and again I'm going to try to keep it as spoiler free as I can, but I do have to touch on some things. Um, the basis premises about it, and it's kind of in the synopsis, there is like this one evil and it basically projects what could happen in the future if this um, psychic group of investigators doesn't stop it and so a lot of people get this vision of these horrific events that could take place in the future if they don't stop this from happening and it's in the town of prosperity I believe is the name of the town that they have to go to so you jump around in perspectives and if you've been on my channel you know I don't like books that jump between so many different perspectives that the story plot gets disjointed and that's kind of what I felt about this book because it started off really good like I think the prologue was really really great and it really drew me in because of the way that the scene was described of this vision that all these people were getting it was phenomenal I really enjoyed it like I enjoy her description of things she does a very good job of that but it almost didn't feel like her writing in other aspects because normally she's very fluid but in a lot of her books that I've read you normally only follow two main leads you might have you know some supporting characters but you didn't really get a lot from their perspective you just followed you know the main female character and the main male kind of love interest slash supporting male role type of character depending on if it's by the female perspective or if it's the male as a main lead you get what I'm saying so but this one again you mainly follow you know like I said Hollis and Reese they're the kind of the main ones but then you also get all of these little side stories of the other investigators who are being drawn into this battle but at the end you it's not tied together so it was kind of in a way pointless as to why all these other people were necessary when it really only came down to two people so that was to me a, a huge letdown on that aspect um, and the ending was very anticlimactic uh, yeah so it was it was very odd you know and like I said this, the build up was really good you know and in ways was good but I lost the thread of the story so I didn't wasn't eager to pick up the book you know I didn't make myself read it you know and I'm glad I did because you know it was a decent okay read but I would not rank it her best read best book that I've ever read by her because I've read some really awesome books for her so it's, for me it was a letdown so all these people are drawn to prosperity there's this kind of shield or bubble over the town that you know is short circuiting all the electronics so people can't call out or communicate with the outside world and you know a lot of bad things are happening because this great evil is manipulating the people of the town to do these very horrific things that they normally would never do so it sets up all of that and like I said you know the investigators they get there they're working and they're figuring it all out 
And it, like I said, it was it's just very, very anticlimactic. And I was very disappointed in the ending because I know her writing and I know there are better works by her than this particular book. So I was very saddened, like I said, about that. I don't know if I could recommend it. I could recommend her earlier works that I've read. But this one, like I said, because there were so many different disjointed perspectives um, to push the plot along, you know, it was good to kind of understand some of that maybe but it really didn't have an effect on the story as a whole it was almost like page filler in a way um so yeah i, I can't highly recommend it um if you are a fan of k Hooper, you may want to uh pick it up and just to i guess to say that you've read all of her works um but yeah i i can't really recommend it it was okay read you know but it's not her best. Um, but anyways, um, leave me comments down below. Have you read um, Hold Back the Dark? What did you think of it? Um, did you feel similar ways to me? Um, I hate leaving negative reviews, but this is uh, my job as a reader, as a booktuber. I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and sometimes we get an ugly, and I hear all the times that we shouldn't leave negative reviews on books, but then how can people trust our reviews if they are not true? You know, you, you write things, you've got to be able to have the critiques to it. You know, it's the good, the bad, and the ugly. It is what it is. Um, so, again, like I said, I have glowing thoughts about a lot of her works. This just happens to not be one of them, unfortunately. But anyways, let me comments down below, your thoughts down below. Are you curious about it to pick it up, you know, to see how bad it really is or how good you think it really is? And we can have a discussion about what you thought was great and we can talk about what I thought was not so great um, in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the review, found it helpful in some way. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And until my next video, I hope you have a great one. Bye.